This place used to be, well, before it was this, it was like a car, like just a little know-nothing car dealership. They left their shitty Windows XP computer in here. Oh no. Just a little office. Little desk. They left like all this stuff here. Walmart smiling, smiling character. <laughs> we were just here in Clearfield and uh, look at how overrun this is. It's been a good minute since I've been in this part of Clearfield on foot, but <laughs> the last time I was here, I don't remember it looking like this. like the manager's office yeah like the last place uh, the last time this place was in business they would like sell cars or something it was like some shitty little fucking podunk office look at this all oh, this is weedage and if you keep con going down that way you get to a clear field high can you imagine just walking through all this wearing sandals and shorts There's a cop waiting over there. He's like, what are those guys doing? I'm filming. That's what I'm doing. It's been a long time since I filmed a video. Especially in Clearfield, because this is Clearfield, not Layton. And this has been up so long, it's now sun bleach. You can't even fucking read what it says. <laughs> So this place has been vacant for a long minute. The last time I lived out in Layton was 2017, which I know Layton isn't Clearfield, but it's like a car part. I don't know what it is, but... That same cop is just like sitting there in traffic. Whatever this is. And then the, these were bathroom doors here. These were bathroom doors. And they're uh, <coughs> unusable because they're all bolted up or they're boarded up. It fucking stopped recording on me for some reason. I was just saying, these are the bathroom doors. This is almost like that gas station there. Because it's all overrun with shit. And there's their little fucking generator or their fan or whatever the fuck that is. Their AC unit back there. That's their little security system back there. Is there like a recording limit on this new phone? So after so many odd seconds or minutes, it just fucking conks out and stops recording? Because that's bullshit if that's the case. I can't even see anything in here. Oh, those are the doors. The hallway. Little camera. That's like a little USB camera. You can get those at like Walmart. This place has been closed, I'm guessing, for a good while because they don't have anything. Uh, this is that room that we saw the, out of three doors. This is the furthest one. They're like, those guys sure are suspicious. What are they? 
What are they doing over there? Well, I just wanted to film this little out of the way thing, you know, just uh, to show what was out here, which is absolutely fucking nothing, because look at it. They're going to tear it down along with all this other stuff. I'd like to get that XP computer, though. That'd be great to have, just to have it, I think. Anyway, this has been Safe by Auto here in State Street in Clearfield. Maybe they have the same number, 801-776-9598. Goodcleancars.net. Ooh, .net, not .com. Okay. That house there is abandoned, but we're not going to film it. This place here, I don't think they have anyone renting it. Because there's supposed to be stores at the top and at the bottom. And they might actually be in the process of demolishing it. They got a push broom right there, or a rake. Graffiti. Yeah, this was a vape place before it went tits up. Funny, I'm not surprised that a vape place of all places doesn't do all that well. Somehow, I'm, I'm not shocked. You know, somehow I'm not, I'm not shocked. Oh, honey, look at that. This is like a cute little like store bottom business area. They had their sign here that was like removed. I think this just used to be a sewing place. <clears throat> oh, so it's sectioned out into fours. A mattress. Oh, it's not sectioned out into fours. It's just different. This place is locked up, isn't it? Yeah. Someone was fucking sleeping here. Someone was fucking sleeping here. It must have been sectioned off in fours and ones. I'm going to the basement. It's much cooler down here. Oh! Disgusting fucking bug. This is where all the um, special parties would happen. This is a mail slot. Which looks absolutely fucking filthy. Oh, this, this episode when it gets uploaded is going to be a two for McDoofer at least. Two episodes. Look at that. That's a vintage bulb. Right there. They got cigars. Ace's Coffee Corner. Cigarettes. Well, the upstairs part was the vape store. Then this was like a cigarette fucking place or whatever, I guess. I don't think it was actually sectioned out <laughs> just because looking at the way it's laid out because it would have been really, really small if they were. You know. And uh, someone's probably living down there. That's why there's curtains there still. It's probably a situation like with that abandoned house in uh, Roy. It's 
probably like with that abandoned house in Roy. You know where it looked like it looked like uh, someone was living in there. God, if I have to take a shit soon after eating Mexican, that is not a good a good sign. <laughs> not a good sign, honey. Not a good sign. Okay, out here is the old Albertson slash Layton Clearfield shopping. I think this part is officially considered Layton. I think. This used to be Imperial Dragon. Really fucking awesome Chinese place. And then they moved over there across the street. <clears throat> They're trying to re revitalize, revamp this shopping center. And I give them credit for that. Instead of just selling it and tearing it down. That place is open and has a business there. This here was all Peter Piper pizza. And they had pizza, obviously. Arcades for the kids. Prizes you could win. It was such a fucking awesome place to go as a kid. Um, I give them credit for for trying to uh, for trying to do something with it instead of just tearing it down. You know, they're splattering some new paint on and and uh, you know doing something because it's been like over twenty years since I you know was a kid and they used to have Peter Piper pizza and all that other stuff down here. So it's all, Hey man. So it's all changed. There's another spa place. Those places are a dime a dozen. I think this used to be Payless. This was Payless or one of those shoe stores. I think Albertsons used to be over there, the old Vasa and Kmart was next to it. Now it's a fucking, um, storage lockup place, whatever the hell that is. <clears throat> I have no idea what this place is. Opium, Optum, okay. I have no idea. But that's the Vasa place. But they're trying to... Oh, it's a mobile clinic, okay. They're trying to... Well, I guess the whole place isn't abandoned. You lied. You said it was. They're trying to, uh, you know, revitalize the place. You know? You know what I mean? Revitalize it. I always like this area over here, this field here. But it's a bitch trying to get up and trying to get down. Ew, what the fuck? Girl. That must be the most lowest of the lowest ghetto fucking rent a toilet you can afford. We all know what you got to do in there. We don't need you to fucking spell it out, okay? <laughs> Grandma back there is just all like, mm-hmm. These little nooks out here, these little alcoves, are just for the dumpsters. What the fuck is this guy doing? Excuse me, you're not an employee of the fucking strip mall. I don't think you're supposed to be driving through here, fucker. <laughs> we literally could have died. We literally could have died. We literally could have died. I'm doing my Karen pose. Delmonico's. This used to be an Italian place called Delmonico's a long time ago. <laughs> See, little bits of history. Little bits of history. I, I know a lot of people out here in the Clearfield, Layton area. 
they always know when it's me that like, oh I hear a faggot it must be Jay I make them laugh what can I say I've made them laugh in study hall in high school I made them laugh in church I made them laugh at the library you know what I'm lying I didn't make them laugh in church I never fucking went to church to make anybody laugh that's the truth about that in it in that the truth